a Massachusetts woman who slipped on goose poop is suing Six Flags. The woman who was wearing sandals at the time, sandals at the time, walked with her family downhill, slipped and fell. Sandals! Yeah, well, there you go. She blew out her flip-flop, stepped on a goose drop. (laughs) (laughs) Let me ask everybody a question. Do you like theme parks? Yeah! (laughs) Wes does. Stamos, you a theme park guy? Like Carowinds, we've got. That's like that would be a theme park, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the I like those. The I like those. Yeah. yeah like. Elliot, I love roller coasters. Hate waiting in line. Okay, well, don't worry. It might all be gone pretty soon because uh, a Massachusetts woman who slipped on goose poop is suing Six Flags. There you go. No more fun. They're going to cancel theme parks now. Sounds like a lot of bull poop to me. I say watch where you're going, Miss Magoo. You know what I mean? She's going to ruin it for the rest of us now. She's suing a uh, Six Flags Great Escape Outdoor Indoor Water Park after she broke her ankle when she fell down a small hill that was covered in geese feces. Geese feces. I guess that slide was not part of the water park. (laughs) Yeah, that would be the long flume. (laughs) As a result of the incident, the woman filed a lawsuit seeking $250,000. That's all? As Isaiah would say, $250,000. What do you guys think? Is that a little much? I think she could go higher. I think she could go $2 million. Uh, have you ever sued anybody? <clears throat> no, but you remember the guy that Are you su- a litigious person? Would you sue? I would not sue. I don't know one of my friends has ever sued anybody. Mm-mm. But remember the, the McDonald's, the cup, too hot coffee? Yep. It got more than 200000 Yeah. Well, that yeah, they, they scalded well themselves. And ever since then, McDonald's, their coffee is different. It's not as hot. It's got a cup holder thing on it. Got a cup holder? Yeah, I think it's a little much. I mean... What about you, Wes? I like how the goose is laughing at her because she fell. Yeah. <laughs> it's going, <"Dad!" laughs> nerd. Watch where you're going, Mrs. Magoo. I think it's like, watch your step. You know, I mean that. I still think two hundred fifty thousand is a little much. I think it's too much. I mean, she's not getting a brand new ankle. You know what I mean? She's just going to have to wear a, a boot. And she might have got a lot of people might have fit, saw her fall and got laughed at. It's humiliation. That's worth more than $250,000. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, uh, I've fallen down many times and never, not once ever thought of suing anybody. You know, maybe I'm the idiot here. So here's what happened. The woman was at Six Flags with her family when they decided to go to the outdoor water park section. She asked one of the park staff members how to get there and was told to use an emergency exit before crossing the street. And that, I think that's where that's where Six Flags messed up. You know, the employee that would never happen at Wally World. Never happen at Wally World. Goose out front would have told you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't do that. I hate that part. <laughs> I don't need the drama. You the, make it. They make it worse the, when you do that. <laughs> yeah, but it's like you're belittling. It's like yeah. You're going, yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> when the woman and her family got outside, they saw a paved lot and a road with a small grassy hill between them. And not seeing any sidewalk or walkway, the woman and her family walked down the grassy hill that bordered the paved area. And that was her mistake. I think she's probably trying to cut in front of people. You know what I mean? Like she saw the the the, the outdoor park. There was a road yep. and a parking lot, but this little grass hill, I bet she was trying to cut in line. Oh, she got what she deserved. She got what she deserved. That's right. And nothing ever good happens on a grassy hill, right? Or knoll, right? We know what happens on grassy knolls. She said it was not steep, and it did not give rise to any concern. The grass did not seem wet, damp, slippery, but it was covered in goose feces. And yet she still went forward. That part I don't get. If you if she knew that, why go through it, right? right? Yeah, step around. Strike two. That's not how you play Doug Doug Goose. It's <laughs> not how you walk across the minefield. The woman who was wearing sandals at the time, sandals at sandals. the time, walked with her family downhill, slipped and fell. Sandals. Yeah. Well, there you go. She blew out her flip flop, stepped on the goose drop. <laughs> <laughs> She should have been wearing Crocs. Isn't that what Crocs are made for? Croc? 
That's how they got their name, isn't it? You guys love Crocs. How I many pair Crocs. of Crocs you got, I, dude? dude? You're not a Croc, dude? I'm not a Croc. I got guy. zero Crocs. I hate Crocs. That, that I'm, I'm, I'm never on a pair of Crocs. I, look, I know a lot of people at home are watching this. They got Crocs. I don't get it, dude. I don't either. I don't uh, understand uh, Who wants to wear crocodile Keith shoes? Keith Nestor loves them. <laughs> I think my brother has a pair crocodile of Crocs. Crocodile shoes? I don't know. I don't, well, I don't know what the appeal is it's for like Crocs. Lazy, like everybody you see that wear those, just, they just look lazy. Yeah. Yeah, it looks just like a piece of, <laughs> it's just a, a piece of plastic with holes in it. Yeah. And what's up with that little back flap? Back flap. I you don't know what I'm know. talking about? The yeah. little, little back flap of your ankle? It does nothing. <laughs> How do you know you've never owned it? Here's the story. Well, I've seen people wear them and the back flap does nothing when I see those people <laughs> you wear really them. You've got a pair of Crocs, don't you? Well, <laughs> maybe she should have had her Crocs on because uh, she fell. She immediately felt pain in her left ankle, which began to swell as her kids just stood there eating their snow cones. Could have used that ice to get the swelling down. Park staff <laughs> sent... An EMT to treat the woman, and an ambulance was called. I mean, an ambulance for a broken ankle. Wow. Good God. There's your, there's your 250000 right there, yeah. right? Aren't those ambulance. expensive? Yeah, ambulance will cost you that much, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, meanwhile, there's a guy across town having a stroke waiting for his ambulance, but we've got to get to the broken ankle. The lawsuit claims the woman was unable to work her job as a real estate agent due to the injury. Good yeah. Lord. I'd like to show you this house, but my ankle's in foreclosure. (laughs) (laughs) I used a broker. (laughs) Oh. Well, you still do it. You're still doing it. But you're making the. I'm just going to do air. But you're doing it. It's in the air. It's with your hands still. I see it. (laughs) (laughs) You know what we need? Deion Jackson moving forward. Yes. We need a sound effects person. Maybe that's going to be your calling, Wes Pittman. Sound effects. Is like. Because uh, I do the joke, you could have you could have played yeah. the sound effect. Am I going to play it off like? No, no, we we'll get you off, something. Yeah, we we'll get you a device. I'm not the guy from Police Academy. I can't make no, these you noises. Can't, you're not sound. Michael Winslow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, of course, you know his name. Of course. Why, hey, does it say why the lady was on the grassy area? She was trying to just yeah, take a shortcut, cut in line, Wes. She was trying to like so she went from one section of the water park to another, which is outdoors, right? And she saw, she went out an emergency exit, and that's like a normal exit or whatever. And so she was just presented with this grass hill that went down, and the road went like this yeah. down to a paved area, but she didn't see a sidewalk, you know. She, she went felt off. like, I can't walk on the road, and I can't walk in the parking lot. Yeah, that's she not was trying to skip. She was trying to skip a line. She went off the beaten path. Yeah. So. And she also attempted to settle out of court. Like, she was willing to make a side deal, but the park said, no bueno. So they're crying foul. Good for them. They're like, we'll see your butt in court, Karen. <laughs> Seriously, if you can walk your ass up them court stairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of that broken foot of yours. The lawsuit, this is the lawsuit. This is what she's saying. Six Flags failed to properly train its employees and was negligent in taking care of visitors, making it liable for the woman's injuries as well as lost pay, loss of employment, no, no, loss of enjoyment of life, mental anguish, past, present, and future pain, suffering, and medical expenses. That's what she's suing for. That's $250,000, please. Wow. I mean, uh, you're saying it's low, but I think, I mean, I want that lawyer's number. I think it's a good, you think she should get more? I mean, when you look at people that sue for less that get more than that. So. Yeah, for burnt coffee. I guess you're right. Yeah. Anyway, well, if you go to Six Flags and they're not open, you know, maybe you see those Six Flags at half staff. And that's what, now you know yeah. why. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's me again. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked that. If you did, you, uh, you should check out the entire episode. It's a blast. And then if you're going to do that, you might as well subscribe. And then, you know, if you're going to subscribe, you might as well hit the notification bell. All right? And, uh, and know that I love you. <laughs>